Hey there, I the Holder Fire Family, and welcome to another reaction. This time, I'm reacting to the Amazing Digital Circus short fan film, Kofmo. Uh, I haven't really seen much of this at all in terms of like clips or what happens in this fan film, uh, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and from what I have seen of it um, through like gifts or images and stuff, it looks very high quality, like very good quality animation for a fan film. Um, so. I'm really looking forward to watching this, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Already the animation is just really good. <laughs> Unless they do give him a voice. Ooh. Oh, they have the other characters there too. Are we gonna have them speak too, or just like, be there? The road. To get to the other side. To get to the other side. Oh God, Kane! <laughs> God, the animation is so good. What the hell? All the no, like What's dummy people, and then you have the crew. Funny? Clownfish. I feel like this is what it feels like to be a comedian, and your jokes don't hit, especially if you're not experienced in it. He's gonna freak out. Is he having a panic attack? No. <laughs> Maybe. Looks like it. Oh, also, don't forget, get prepared for the song, everyone. This animation is so good. What the fuck? This is like, this is like if if they if they took Digital Circus and put it in like Unreal Engine Five. Like, this is so high quality. What the hell? How long did it take him to make this? I also know Glitch shouted out this animation, and I could see why. Like, this is... No, the exit door. We know Kofmo, I think, abstracted because of this. <laughs> like, he went crazy looking for an exit. I like the way they've animated Kofmo, too. Like, this feels like... Oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Kofmo? Beginning of the okay? extract. extract. Oh, hey, can you no, I just want... Or you can just abstract right now. I don't think you're helping, Kingler. I like how for Kofmo that the way they've animated him is very like he'll have like surprise, like you know, cartoony surprise lines, the anxiety like swivel on his face. Like I feel like that's that actually like if if Kofmo had been in the series and not just, you know, already abstracted by the time we saw him. Uh, I feel like this definitely would have been how he would have been animated. Probably not, but I feel like this would really match him. It's also nice to get to see this character, considering we didn't. This is gonna make me feel worse about his abstraction, isn't it? Jax! Jeez, what got you so mad? I haven't even said it to his face this time. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like this animation style more for a digital circus than <laughs> That sounds so mean. Okay, like it, I feel like I like the combination of them looking realistic. Like you see the yarn of her hair looks very like, it's got the fuzzy texture, like more so than even digital circus has Ragatha's hair. Um, so it's like, you, they look realistic, but at the same time they have the cartoony eyebrows and stuff. So it keeps them, like they look, both realistic and cartoony digital, if that makes sense. And it works. It doesn't feel like out of place or uncanny or anything. He's probably just resting in his room. These shows are always extremely strange. Especially for Zubal, like that really works because you got the plastic, like the sheen on on their skin with the um with the plastic and stuff, and it really works. For him. But he, he usually doesn't quit like that. That's because he's on the verge of losing his epic mind. Oh, we're abstracting. Wait, are you in the same office area that Pomni ended up in the pilot? Rabbit footsteps coming toward me is a no-no. The low hum of like the lights. I forgot what they're called. Not halogen lights. Um. Uh, I'm blanking on it. 
this you or version of you? Oh god. I. Oh, oh, cracky, crickety crack. I don't like. Why are your arms doing the freaking wiggle, car, inflated tube thing? God, this thing's more scary than what Pomni experienced in these this back rooms like place. What? What was in there? Uh oh. Abstraction. Uh. Well, this makes abstraction like things scarier. Oh, there you are. Kane, I don't think you're helping. I mean, you helped by getting him out of that situation, but. I just, I think he threw him out of the fire into the frying pan. No, 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 wait. What was that? What was that? I saw that line. I need to get there. Oh, exit. Oh, all the exits. Okay. Can we please? I can't read that. Where was it? I will. I'll get the. Oh, God, there's more. Please. Can I? I don't want to go there. Wait, what was the other part? What is it all for, clownfish? Exit. What is it all for? Okay, so it's like variations of that. Or it's like the same things, mostly. Definitely did a good job in showing him going crazy. Or losing his mind. Especially with all that stuff all over his walls that we see in the pilot. Yeah. You're abstracting. Ah. Is this what it's like to abstract? I can see now why they did the flashing lights thing. Wait, is this the theme from the show? Just slow down. Bye, Kafma. Ah, ah. <laughs> Holy, gee, many Christmas. Wait, Ash was Kingler. Cause I'm pretty sure that's the Ash I'm thinking of that also voices N in a lot of Murder Drones projects, fan projects. I'm letting the credits play out before I say anything. That was, uh, that was, wow. Okay, um, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Holy. <laughs> Yeah, that was, all right, ah, that was, oh, well, first off, bravo, I think definitely that's the best fan film I've seen for Digital Circus so far, honestly, maybe even best digital, or not digital, best fan film I've seen for, out of any glitch production so far, like, even for Murder Drones, I don't think, Murder Drones, I mean, okay, animated things, uh, episode might rival it in terms of the quality and stuff um but for now 
Well, this one's takes this one takes the cake because wow, holy that that guy that felt higher quality. Than, I I feel bad for saying this because then I know um, it's kind of like oh you're saying that you know it could come across across as I I don't like the quality for Digital Circus for Glitch, but um, I know it's more of a I'm saying that this is just so high quality that I wasn't expecting this. Like you know when you hear fan film a fan project. It's usually good. Like, it can range from eh to at least good. Um, or great. Like, very rarely great. Um, but this was, this, in my opinion, did, like, it, not did, uh, is higher quality animation wise than Digital Circus, the series from Glitch. And, well, I don't think that's because. Glitch is being cheap or anything, and they're doing low quality. I think it's just, I think it's the, I think it's the way this fan film was shot, and the lighting, and just everything, it felt higher. Like, this felt like if Glitch did a movie, like, movie quality of, um, Digital Circus. So it's nothing to snub at Glitch or anything like that, because I, I do love the quality of Digital Circus, the series, uh, but this just took it up, like, an extra few notches. <laughs> like holy um yeah anyway um let me talk about the different things uh uh plot i mean okay i'm gonna say off the bat plot characters animation music everything uh i would say maybe not the voice acting that's like my only nitpick is no i, mean, I feel like it's and it's a very minor nitpick it's that some of them don't sound that like super close to the vas but that's kind of part of it that's part of fan projects like i absolutely adore intermission uh b's uh fan animatic episode for murder drones intermission and the voices except for like um the one who voiced in tomato tomato sauce um like he sounded very close to michael but other than that uh the other vas didn't sound that close to the VAs, but the, I didn't really talk about it. Uh, so yeah, it's a very minor nitpick for me for this that they sounded like kind of like the VAs. Some of them more than others, but then some sound like just okay. But they did the job. Like I, I even if they didn't sound at all like the the characters, it's it wouldn't have taken away because this is focused on Kofmo and it's what happened to him prior to abstracting, and it definitely if. If what they wanted to do with this fan film was to make us feel more for Kofmo and feel, like, more sad with what happens to him, they did the job. Like, that's one thing I wish we had gotten to see with Kofmo. Not necessarily what led to him, like, like the full-on behind-the-scenes of what happened to him before he abstracted, but, like, at least, like, when they had the funeral scene, I was kind of hoping, um... I was kind of hoping we would see like flashbacks between at least the characters with Kofmo, just trying to make us more attached to him because personally for me, I felt nothing over Kofmo having abstracted. And even the funeral, I didn't feel anything for Kofmo. I felt more bad for the actual, like, not actual, uh, I felt I felt bad for like Ragatha and the ones that are ex experiencing him having abstracted than I did for him himself. Whereas this fan film makes me feel for them, but also for Kofmo. And if anything, like, it really home hits harder when, like, Ragatha had said, you know, was it because I didn't laugh at that joke that one time? So she now, she felt guilty for that. And you see it here that he said the jokes on stage and nobody laughed at them. And it, I could see why, like, Ragatha would believe that she, like, was one of the reasons he went and abstracted. Even though I don't think it's what pushed him. Um... It wasn't the main driving force for him abstracting. He was going through all the exit doors. And honestly, Kane didn't help. Because Kane obviously is the one that controls the exit doors. Like with what he did with Pomni. Um, so you could blame Kane for it mainly. Because messing with Kofmo, having him see these doors, going through, you know, seeing him riding the egg, like seeing a version of himself going crazy and crack. Like, come on, that, I feel like that would make a lot of people lose their minds. Especially if they're already kind of losing it and they're barely hanging on. It's like they see that. That, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
And like I said, uh, in regards to the, but yeah, um, plot and characters definitely, uh, like Kaufman a lot more, more attached to his character, to what it was, um, feel more for him. I feel more for the characters, not so much, well, maybe Jax, because we did see in episode two that Jax felt some kind of, whether it was sadness or remorse or something over Kafmo having abstracted, um, you could kind of say that if this was canon, uh, you could see why that he may feel sort of some sort of guilt that he probably made fun of Kafmo or you know didn't laugh or booed him, whatever he could have done. Um, he would feel like, oh, maybe I I didn't help either, maybe I was the cause of it. So it definitely adds a layer of depth to the characters. Um, like, not much technically happened in, in this fan film either. It's not like anything, like, big or grand. It was just literally all about Kofmo, which is fun. It's literally called Kofmo. So if it wasn't about him or, like, focus on him mainly or only, it would have been like, well, why'd you call us Kofmo then? Um, so, yeah. Um, like, other than the plot and characters being, like, that's all I have to really say about the plot and characters. Um, also, interesting, we didn't see Pomni at all. I thought we would have seen Pomni. Like, we saw Gangle, Jax, Ragatha, Kingler, but no Pomni. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait, that's right. Why would we see Pomni? She didn't come in until the, at the end when he had abstracted. And also, you know what? The other thing, too, is that scene of, like, that moment of him having abstracted and then the door opening. It also, like, shows how close like can you imagine if they had just been maybe like i don't know because i don't know how much time transpired between him abstracting and then them opening the door i'm gonna guess not long because i don't think that he would have stayed in his room forever or for that long before burst like busting out of it um so i'm going to let's just say it was not long at all it shows how close they could have been as saving him because I feel like with Pomni seeing the exit door and stuff, she and him would have had some, like, she would have been able to relate to him and tell him that I see the exit door too and then he wouldn't have felt crazy and maybe it would have saved him. So it kind of makes that sad that it's like they were that close to meeting each other and possibly her saving him. Uh, but because she wasn't there yet, um, you know, it was too late. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, those two, uh, subjects aside the animation i think i talked about it enough but yeah animation i think is the best thing in this fan film like other like everything i would say about everything about this fan film is like a t i would say like a almost a 10 out of 10 for me maybe a 10 out of 10 maybe just the voices would be my only like i said nitpick but i don't know if i should knock off the raid and like at all any of the rating for that because it's kind of like unless you can get the actual vas or like really good impersonators you're not gonna be able to get that so it's kind of like I don't know whether I should include it or not. Okay, let's say this. If I don't include it, 10 out of 10. If I include that nitpick, then I would say like a 9.5 out of 10. And that's it. Um, but yeah, the animation to me is the best thing. And this, like, even if nobody talked and it was just purely like the sound effects and just, um, it was just purely sound effects and just the animation, I would have gotten the message and I would have understood everything going on. Um, and yeah, like, again, this is, I think, the best fan project I've seen come out of any of Glitch's stuff. Or from, like, based off of any Glitch's stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, wow. Well, I'm, I'm honestly astounded with... And I'd like to know how long it took them to make this. Because if they say, oh, like, a half a year even, I'm going to be like, that's insane. And how, like, I don't... I didn't, really look but it didn't look like that many people worked on this in terms of like the animation stuff like maybe like actually you know what let me look real quick let me look i want to see how many people actually worked on this at least in terms of the animation so yeah the cast first animation soundtrack one person. So one person did animation, soundtrack, writing, plus another person. So let's just say, is it like 3D modeling, two people? Guys, is it mainly just like less than 10 people that worked on this? Okay, no, you have more. 
but it seems like there's also a repeated name, so... Is that it? Yeah, it's literally, I think it's less than eight, less than ten at least. Uh, guaranteed less than ten. Uh, like ten people that worked on this, and that's, if it took them le like a half a year to make this, that's really impressive. Uh, I mean, it could have taken them a year, but when you think about it, the pilot for Digital Circus released, um, God, what was it? Not long after Glitch X of next year, I think it was, or was it before? No, it had to be before, because they had like, they had like Lizzie and, um, they had Gooseworks there. So yeah, no, it, it, I think it came out either the month or two prior to Glitch X. So it had to have been like, um, September, October that the pilot for Digital Circus released. Um, and then, yeah, then we had, then there was Glitch X. So, so that means they had to have, let's say they started not long after the pilot release. Maybe like, let's say a half a month to a month after it. Um, that's still, we're close to a year from that. So I guess they could have taken a year, but I would say even a year is very impressive. If it was like it being less than 10 people that worked on this and the quality it is like, even then that's impressive, like a year. Cause I know, and like, okay, granted it's 11 minutes. Cause I was gonna say even Glitch has said that they, um, they take, at least for like murder drones, they took up to a year to make, uh, the episodes, I like, believe each episode pretty much. Um, and that's like a team of 25 to now like 50 working on it. So you think about it, these guys are less than 10 and at most they took a year to make this thing. And, and it was granted half for the length of an episode because it was 11 instead of like 20 minutes or more. Um, that's still very impressive, <laughs> honestly. Um, so yeah, uh, kudos, bravo to the team that made this. Uh, love to see like this is the kind of... I'm not expecting this kind of quality every time there's fan project because that's nuts. Uh, but um, it's always great to see. Um, and I, did, I need to look at who their channel is because I want to shout them out, not just verbally. I will also put a link to this video in the description below. But um, let me see. I just want to shout out the channel as well. this no that's not it ah, okay so the channel that made or not made this but the channel that has this fan film is called bro i was gonna say bronxy it is bonxy i'm so sorry i hope i'm even saying that correctly i'm gonna say it's bonxy or a yeah it's gotta be bonxy so bonxy is the channel that uh posted this and they're also I believe the one that I noticed their name in the credits a few times so they also worked on it um but yeah uh go check them out um and again I'll be putting a link to their channel or I'll be putting a link to this video or this fan film in the description as well but uh yeah uh, those are my thoughts for it I hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning after night and keep it bright see ya